Lily and I love just to be together. We do a lot of stuff together. We're pretty much inseparable. We love to bake and make candies. After seven years of being married, Cameron and I decided to become parents and we were really looking forward to growing old together and raising this baby. I was ecstatic, but I felt so crappy. Throughout the next three months, I kept losing weight to the tune of about five to seven pounds a week. We had known that Heather was not feeling well. We had originally thought, oh, this is gonna be some simple sort of thing. As time goes on, you realize, wait a minute, the doctors are starting to knock off the real simple things. About mid-October, I felt like a truck parked on my chest and I couldn't breathe. Three and a half months after Lily was born, I got the diagnosis, malignant pleural mesothelioma. And I looked over at my wife and she had this look of just sheer terror. If you read about mesothelioma, if you do any research, it's dire. Most people don't live beyond 15 months after diagnosis. When I was diagnosed, I was 36 years old. That's extremely young. It doesn't get the attention that it deserves to not only find better treatments for it, but to find a cure. When I was a little girl, my dad worked construction. He would come home from work covered in dust. His jacket would be white, crusty, from the drywall dust that he would be sanding off the walls. Anything that I had to do outside, I liked wearing my dad's coat. It was just, you know, unbeknownst to us, it was chock full of asbestos. That's how my exposure happened. My dad worked with asbestos. We were fortunate enough to have a series of doctors who knew where to send us. My doctor here knew to send me on to Dr. Sugarbaker in Boston. The Mesothelioma Cancer Alliance is a fantastic resource to find these specialists. It's a fantastic not only resource for doctors, but treatment centers. Going into surgery was scary. I would keep telling her, look, Lily needs her mother. That's, that's the way I kept Heather's hope up. Lily went to live with Heather's parents. We couldn't take her with as we were traveling with all the doctor's appointments and being in the hospital. After recovering in Boston, I went to live with my parents in South Dakota. In that three months while I was recovering, Cameron was only able to see Lily for three days, 36 hours. But it's what we had to do in order to get by. And it's just what you do. Throughout Lily's life, we've never hidden the fact from her that I had cancer when she was a baby. We're very upfront about it. I don't get into the dire, you know, what could happen because I don't operate that way. We operate from a place of hope and a place of living in the moment. They asked if I would talk to other patients because of my attitude. I've been accused my whole life of wearing rose-colored glasses and seeing life very optimistically, and I have no intention of ever taking them off. There was no option other than living through this. I was going to beat it no matter what. There's more hope now than there ever was. So don't, don't give up. Don't take a, a death sentence as a diagnosis. There is hope. Causes of Mesothelioma Asbestos exposure is the only confirmed cause of mesothelioma. What is asbestos? Asbestos is naturally arising mineral originate in rock and other minerals, such as vermiculite. There are different kinds of asbestos. Serpentine asbestos. These wavy white filaments can be removed by the body. Serpentine asbestos is least threatening as compared to amphibole asbestos. Amphibole asbestos. The body has a much harder time removing these strands as they are inflexible and need alike. They can get to be held up in the body and are the most deadly. How do people get exposed to asbestos? Occupational exposure. Those working in industrial businesses repeatedly work with materials comprising asbestos. 
Some most common industrial materials comprising asbestos are Insulation Roofing and flooring materials Brake pads Pipes and pipe fittings Electrical wiring Paint Secondary exposure Secondary exposure happened when those working in occupations utilizing asbestos materials would incidentally uncover individuals at home. Asbestos in hair and on garments was exchanged to others not specifically working with poisonous materials. Naturally occurring exposure. Asbestos is a naturally arising mineral. The individuals who lived close deposits of asbestos may have been uncovered through water keep running off or mining ventures. Other causes Previous lung disease Working conditions Breathing rate while exposed Weather Exposure concentration Genetics SV40 virus Radiation Smoking Carbon nanotubes Chronic inflammation Exposure duration or frequency The lung is the organ in your chest that allows you to breathe and there's airways that go down and spread out throughout the lung and it's where air exchange occurs and you can see on the diagram that the lung is surrounded by a membrane called the pleura and the pleura is the place where mesothelioma is the disease that develops there and lung itself is the the breathing organ of your body it's where air exchange occurs air comes in it goes into the lung and comes back out the lung is in the chest and the lung surrounded by pleura now lung cancer is very different than mesothelioma in that it actually occurs in the lung itself and it occurs a lot of times from irritants in the lung mesothelioma is a disease and a cancer of the surrounding tissues from the lung different than the lung it's different than lung cancer and so the symptoms of lung cancer are often very different than mesothelioma because it's actually in the airways. Where mesothelioma is more on the outside of the lung, it compresses the lung, it causes a lot of other irritation, and it's a, it's a very different disease process. Asbestos and mesothelioma is caused by asbestos getting lodged. It actually is caused because there are long linear fibers that the body can't clear. The white blood cells can't clear them away and so they get trapped there and they can't ever get removed and they're there for tens and twenties and thirty of years and they're a long-term process and that can't get cleared and that they get trapped and irritate the pleura and the end result is mesothelioma. In the, in the picture that you can see there is a healthy lung which has the normal lung tissue surrounded by viscera and parietal pleura with the pleural space in between it and then on the undersurface of the lung is the diaphragm, the muscle that helps you breathe and that's the, the, the pleura secretes a fluid and everything is very, it's a very small amount of fluid in there that acts as a lubricant and the lung can expand normally and you can breathe normally. The diseased lung you can see in a patient with pleural mesothelioma the diaphragm is involved with cancer, the viscera pleural is involved with cancer, the parietal pleural is involved with cancer, and it's actually constricting the lung, and some of which is even invading into the lung, and the lung cannot function, you can't really breathe the way you normally would be able to breathe, the lung's contracted, and your muscles of your diaphragm don't work, and the whole process of that diseased lung is that the normal relationship and the normal anatomy is altered so that breathing becomes very difficult and there's um, other irritants that cause from that. Important aspects that you need to know about mesothelioma treatment. Every time you go for your regular checkups, you will find that the doctor will inform you that you have at least one defect in your health. That in itself is not very disturbing but the moment you hear your doctor mention the word mesothelioma cancer your heart sinks. This is because of the fact that this type of cancer is one of the most deadly cancer types in the world today. The disease has accounted for more than 18% of all cancer-related deaths all over the world. However when the doctor tells you that you have mesothelioma, 
you should not lose all hope as this disease can be treated. There are numerous mesothelioma treatment options available in health centers all over the world. Your physician should be conversant with most of the options. Mesothelioma treatment works best upon early detection of the cancer in the early stages of the disease. The germs are not very developed and hence the germs are not able to exhibit great resistance. The exact cause of this illness has not been identified yet and most doctors all over the world have embarked on a mission to establish the immediate cause of this cancer. The most common cause of this cancer is overexposure to asbestos and related materials. Therefore mesothelioma treatment involves the elimination of any possible contact between the patient and asbestos materials. Continued exposure to these materials will only worsen your condition at which stage is mesothelioma cancer treatable. The effects of cancer-related ailments are specifically dependent on the stage at which the patient is in. This means that at early cancer stages stages I and E it is very easy to treat cancer mesothelioma treatment options applied during these stages are very effective and lead to complete treatment of the ailment. If in case your cancer is at a progress stage, stage E, it is very difficult to treat it. This is because of the fact that there are very few mesothelioma treatment options that are applicable at this stage. This means that you can only be able to control the condition and probably have to live with it for the rest of your life. One of the major setbacks in mesothelioma treatment is that this type of cancer is not very common. Therefore most doctors will not detect it positively during a checkup and hence you end up getting treatment for the wrong illness. This only worsens the condition thereby making mesothelioma treatment quite hard. Symptoms of mesothelioma are almost similar to symptoms of other diseases and therefore the possibility of the doctor confusing it with another illness is quite high. This is despite the fact that most of the conditions actually match those of mesothelioma. Various treatment options used in treating mesothelioma Mesothelioma treatment options are similar to those of other cancer types. Most of the options entail killing the cancerous cells in the infected area. Some of the treatment options include radiation therapy, surgery, chemotherapy and palliative therapies. The choice of the ultimate mesothelioma treatment option to be used by the doctor is dependent on the condition of the cancer infection. Serious cancer cases require effective treatment options such as surgeries and chemotherapy. However it is up to the doctor to decide on the best treatment option to apply in your case. The doctor in consultation with you and your close family will analyze the available mesothelioma treatment options and settle on the most viable option for you. Among the factors to consider while evaluating the best treatment plan to employ include the cancer tumor size, the extent of damage of the disease your body's general health and the possibility of any mesothelioma treatment option being successful. Even though there are several mesothelioma treatment options available, there is none that has shown 100% treatment success. It is therefore important to ensure that you are able to protect yourself from overexposure to asbestos materials. Mesothelioma treatment options are complemented with lifestyle changes among patients. The patient has to change their current diet. Foods such as junk food and other fat-rich foods should be completely eliminated from the patient's diet. Instead, you should concentrate on taking more proteins and vitamins. Fruits should also be taken regularly in order to clean the blood regularly thereby preventing any worsening of the condition. Clean water should be injected directly into the bloodstream in order to help the patient to remain hydrated especially during chemotherapy and radiation sessions. Setbacks of Mesothelioma Treatments Mesothelioma treatment is one of the complicated treatment options in the medical sector. In fact, not many doctors are equipped with the right knowledge of administering this type of treatment. This is due to the fact that mesothelioma treatment options are complicated and if undertaken in the wrong way can result in fatalities such as death. Therefore while looking for the best physician to help you undergo the treatment options, 
always ensure that you go for the most qualified physician. Most of the patients undergoing mesothelioma treatment options will be required at one time to be attended to by different specialists. These specialists include a pulmonologist lungs, radiologist radiations and a cancer specialist oncologist. Most of mesothelioma treatment options are not administered to patients who are in the third stage of the disease. This is due to the fact that in this stage, it is most likely that the disease is full-grown and can neither be treated nor controlled. The only medical remedy in this stage is administering pain relievers to reduce the patient's pain. However such a patient can be able to prolong his or her life by observing a healthy diet in order to boost the body's resistance. It is only in very few cases that doctors would wish to prolong the life of a patient having stage 3 mesothelioma illnesses. This is because prolonging the life of the patient is the same as prolonging their suffering. In this stage, the area infected with the cancerous cells is usually very painful. The body's general resistance is also greatly affected during this period and therefore even small illnesses can easily take the patient down. Ensure that you visit your personal doctor at regular intervals for early detection and treatment of the illness. Hello mesothelioma cancer. Stages, symptoms and treatment. Pleuromesothelioma is a form of cancer caused by inhaling asbestos fibers. These fibers get blocked into the shielding lining of the pleura, causing genetic mutations adjacent cells. Stages of pleuromesothelioma. Stage 1 the cancer is restricted to the lining of the pleura. Stage 2 The cancer has blow out to the lung itself, diaphragm, and lymph nodes. Stage 3 The cancer extend all over one side of the chest, into the chest wall, esophagus and other lymph nodes. Stage 4 The cancer has blow out into two sides of the chest, the blood, disturbing other body part and bone cells. Symptoms Stubborn dry or rasping cough coughing up blood, dumpiness of breath, pain in the lower back or rib region, lumps under the skin on the chest, trouble with swallowing, night sweats or fever, weight loss. Pleuromesothelioma treatment Chemotherapy Radiotherapy Surgery Chemotherapy 